Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the best methods for training Prayer from level 1 to 99 and 120. Prayer is one of the most useful skills in the game, being necessary for any bossing or slayer and helpful for scaling too, but it's usually very expensive to train. The unique thing about Prayer training is that the methods don't change as you level it and the XP rates don't change at all. Training is fast and linear, very different from every other skill. Here are the parts of the video, links are down in the description to skip to any specific part. If you're looking for training methods to use during double XP, check out the cleansing crystal section for up to 6.6 .6 million experience per hour. There are several items that can help you train prayer just a little bit faster, including the first stage outfit giving 1% additional experience per item or 6% additional prayer experience when wearing the full set. If you didn't receive the outfit during the MTX promo a few years ago, you can still get it for 1,000 Ecto tokens at the Ecto Funtus. If you don't have the outfit or the Ecto tokens already, it probably isn't worth the time to earn it. Next are the XP boosting auras. First is Wisdom, giving 2.5% additional experience for an hour for all skills. Then the three prayer auras, Corruption, Harmony, and Salvation, which each give between 1% and 2.5% additional prayer experience depending on the tier. Prayer Brawler Gloves give 50-300% to additional experience while in the wilderness and can be obtained extremely rarely from wilderness mobs. The Bone Crusher is a Dungeoneering reward requiring level 21 Dungeoneering and costing 34,000 Dungeoneering tokens that will automatically bury any bones dropped by mobs and award you the experience. The Ectoplasmator and its attuned version function similarly to the Bone Crusher, but instead scatter prayer ashes and can be obtained as a very rare drop from ghost type monsters. The Powder of Burials is a newer item that gives the same 250% XP modifier to buried bones that you normally would have gotten at the Gilded Altar. These can be bought from the GE for 315,000 GP at today's prices. Next is the Perfect Juju Prayer Potion, which gives 5% additional experience when using Gilded Altars, the Chaos Temple, or Cleansing Crystals. These can also be bought from the Grand Exchange for 15,000 GP. Last is Torstol Incense Sticks, which give plus 0.5% experience per stack up to 2%. Each stick lasts 10 minutes and costs 25,000 GP. The meta for prayer training has been to use gilded altars for years, but with the release of burial powders, you can get the same XP per bone for burying them at the bank. These cost about 315k GP right now and give a 250% XP modifier when burying bones for 30 minutes. That's 630k GP you'd spend per hour to upkeep your burial powders. All GP numbers from this point don't include the cost of those powders. You can bury up to about 4700 bones per hour using bank presets, meaning you can get some insane XP rates with better bones. Burying bones with burial powders does not stack with double XP, so this is something you would either not do during double XP or pause your DXP timer to train this way. My recommendation is to use Dagonoth bones. At 4,700 bones per hour, it would cost you 191 million to go from level 1 to 99 without any XP boost, taking 6.4 hours at a rate of 2 million XP per hour. Here are some other options. Dragon bones are the best cheap bone. Anything lower than this has a higher GP per XP rate. Using these, you would get 1.2 million XP per hour, though it would take about 11 hours to go from level 1 to 99 without any boosts. Dagonoth Bones are a great price to performance here, earning 2 million experience per hour, taking a little over half the time to get to 99 as Dragon Bones, and costing only about 60 million GP more. You can see that as the XP rate increases, the costs go up exponentially. The best bones for pure experience are reinforced Dragon Bones at about 3.1 million experience per hour, but costing 705 million GP just to get to level 99. I can't really recommend anything more expensive than Dinosaur Bones, which only take half an hour longer when going from level 1 to 99 compared to reinforced Dragon Bones. By the way, if you want to avoid injuring yourself, I recommend putting your bones across multiple slots on your action bars. A cheaper alternative to burying bones is to use the Bone Crusher when killing monsters or training Slayer. Here, I'm using a Bone Crusher and a Burial Powder while killing Frost Dragons. Side note, I'm using the Demon Horn Necklace here, which gives prayer points when burying bones, so I essentially have infinite prayer points right now. With three pieces of the first stage set, 
the Bone Crusher, a Burial Powder, Torstal Incense Sticks, the Wisdom Aura, and killing 480 Frost Dragons per hour, I'm getting about 320,000 Prayer Experience per hour. Keep in mind that Burial Powders don't stack with double experience, though you would get double Prayer XP if you didn't have an active powder. You can use the Bone Crusher anywhere you'd get unnoted Bone Drops to get some decent XP while training combat, though it's not too fast unless you're using a Burial Powder. Another option is to use the Ectoplasmator, which functions similarly to the Bone Crusher but for Prayer Ashes instead. While not compatible with Burial Powders for the 250% XP modifier, this can still give some decent XP while fighting any demon or mob that drops ashes. The attuned Ectoplasmator also synergizes with the Dungeoneering Prayer Necklaces to give prayer points when scattering ashes. XP rates for using the Bone Crusher and Ectoplasmator vary wildly depending on what you're killing and how fast you can kill them. Generally, the best way to use this method is passively while training Slayer, doing ED2, or anything else that would get you high level bone drops. A slow but cheap option is to use Prayer Urns, specifically Inferno Urns. These can be bought from the Grand Exchange and when charged with an air rune, collect ashes dropped by demons. When enough ashes are collected, the urn is teleported away, awarding 1,875 experience, or 2,343 experience when using urn enhancers. Here's a chart on how many of each type of ash it takes to fill an inferno urn. As an example, I'm killing abyssal demons here, earning about 130k XP per hour from inferno urns without enhancers. This is painfully slow XP for prayer and it's not affected by double experience, but it's a worthwhile method if you're already killing monsters that drop ashes. I recommend this if you're either training combat on demons or on a slayer task for them. Cleansing crystals are a super easy, cheap, and AFK method for training prayer. The requirements for this are a little high though. You'll need to have completed Plague's End for access to Prifdenis, meaning at least 75 prayer. Base experience rates here cap out at 341k per hour, but this is the only method in the video that's compatible with double experience. This is also a decent method for Ironmen, because there's no resource collection involved, you'll just need some GP to spend. To do this, go to the Corrupted Siren Stone in the Heaven Cathedral in North Brif. These two NPCs here sell cleansing crystals for 110,000 GP each. Buy them, then click on the Corrupted Siren Stone to use them, which will take about 2 minutes each. If you have a Quiver 3 or 4, the next crystal will be started automatically, otherwise you'll just need to click on the Corrupted Seer and Stone to start the next one. XP rates here are 284k XP per hour normally and 341k XP per hour during the Voice of Siren for Heffen. Bring a perfect Juju Prayer Potion for an additional 5% XP while training here. With the Potion and Torstal Sticks, you'll get 304k XP per hour normally and 365k XP per hour during Voice of Siren. During double XP, you'd instead get 588k XP per hour normally and 706k XP per hour during Voice of Siren. Alternatively, if you have a lot of money to spend and want some crazy XP rates, you can stockpile cleansing crystals. Normally, when using each one, you'd get a large initial XP drop followed by many smaller XP drops for a couple of minutes. Spam clicking the Corrupted Siren Stones will keep using the crystals for large XP drops. You can use a cleansing crystal every 5 ticks or 3 seconds, so 1200 per hour. During Voice of Siren, and I really wouldn't want to do this outside of half an hour, you'd get 2,520 experience, initially for each crystal without boosts, so about 3 million experience per hour, or over 3.2 million experience per hour with a perfect Juju Prayer Potion and Torstal Sticks. On double XP, during half an hour, while using a perfect Juju Prayer Potion, Torstal Instant Sticks, the Pulse Core 10% XP buff and Wisdom Aura, you'd get over 6.6 .6 million experience per hour at the cost of 132 million GP per hour. That's under 20 GP per XP, putting it between Dinosaur and Dragon Can Bones, and over twice as fast as reinforced Dragon Bones per hour. That means it would only take 1 hour and 50 minutes to go from level 75 to 99 prayer and under 14 hours to go from 99 to 120. Voice of Siren is active per clan for one hour at a time. Then the clan is on cooldown for at least two hours, meaning you can go hard for an hour, pause double XP, stock up on cleansing crystals, then do it again when half an hour is up. The shop stocks up to 30 crystals at a time, and they restock at a rate of 1 per 10 seconds. 
so it would take about 3 hours and 20 minutes to fully stock 1200 cleansing crystals for the hour. I hope you guys all found this guide useful and good luck on your prayer grind.